What do you mean there's two RTTTA episodes? Where the frick you been? We got a fake fan in here. We got a fake fan in here. I've only made like over a hundred RTTTA episodes. Some Somebody should know. Somebody probably knows how many I've done. It's like easily over 100. No, no, you say there's 10, you're a fake fan. You're a fake fan. You're a fake fan if you think there's only 10. Also, 10 is definitely enough to make to make a tier list though. Oh yeah, you're a Garrett Williamson fan? Name all the horses. You think there's about 200? Oh god, I don't think there's that many. Y'all a bunch of casuals in my chat. Nobody knows the GC Waves days. I even say in the first episode on the Garrett Williamson channel, on the main channel, hey, I've already been doing this for five years. Well, it wasn't that long, but it was like three. I was like, hey, I've already been doing this for like three and a half years. Seriously, think there's over, oh, there's easily over a hundred. There's easily over a hundred. Uh, I would say there there is probably about 100. I, I think there is about maybe 105. I didn't know we were counting GZ Waves Arts. They all count. It's RTTTA. It just moved to a different channel. The, they all count. But if we do only count the Garrett Williamson RTTTAs, then that's still 10. That's enough for a tier list. I just beautiful face. Hello. Uh, yeah, I think there's probably about 100 to 105 is my guess. Uh, I mean, here, here, let's look right now. Let's look. I, I, we can probably figure this out. Let's go to GC Waves. And then let's go to RTTTA. 91 videos There's literally 101 episodes There's 101 episodes uh, Because there's 10 on my Garrett Williamson channel Plus 91 here, that's 101 Aren't there a few more archived in GC Waves too? I'm pretty sure all of them are still here, are they not? No, they're here, they're in this playlist The archives are in this playlist so it's, it's, it's 90, it's, yeah. Rank them all? Oh my god. Do we count RTTTA bonus? Yeah, because the only reason I, I called it bonus is because it, it, I couldn't find a way to make it a part of that season of of RTTTAs, but it 100% it is a, it, it's, it counts. Grim Reaper with three months got that silver badge now. Thank you so, 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 so much. Smash RTTTA gonna be number one? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I don't feel like I can rightfully say until I'm really close to done with it or after I look back on it a few months following, honestly. I don't, I don't feel like I can, I can really say. My, my current, current number one, spoiler alert, if we did do a tier list on this, current number one, S tier for me is like, uh, which Sonic is best and, um, and, uh, which Mario Kart age is the best. Those are my two favorites that I've ever done. Do we count the Starbucks RT? No. What even is that? I've never heard of that. Where did I get this shirt? Uh, I want to say I got it from the Yeti years ago. Pretty sure I got it from the Yeti years ago. So. Rank Nintendo consoles? I'll do that. I'll do that. I feel like that template's got to already exist, right? 
Looks really nice. I'll have to find it. Yeah, here's the problem. The Yeti w is like a site that's known for like doing like one shirt design a day. And once it's gone, it's gone. So I don't know, but this shirt design could be completely non-existent now. You could probably, I don't know. I have no clue. You could probably find something similar to it. I have no clue. Smash character trailers. Something tells me everybody and their mothers, then again, everybody and their mothers probably rank Nintendo consoles too, so I, I guess. What suggestions have you already decided on doing? I think we'll definitely do Nintendo consoles. You know what I still need to figure out? Like my favorite games of all time. Like I know my favorite is Breath of the Wild. I knew I know Super Mario 64, Mario Kart Double Dash, and Melee are up there. I know Final Fantasy 7 is up there. I know Sonic 3 and Knuckles is up there. I know Sonic Adventure 2 is up there. I know they're all very close in my brain. So I have no clue. Double Dash track tier list. That's very oddly specific. That would be great. Should do that. We should do that because that's very oddly specific. Tier list on US presidents based on how cool they are. Yeah, that 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 won't spark anything. That definitely won't spark anything. Let's let's be real though. Hey, if we're if, if we're just gonna hear another spoiler alert, I'm not even gonna go through the trouble of trying to rank all of them, because it doesn't matter. Teddy Roosevelt's the coolest one. I'm sorry, facts. Teddy Roosevelt's the coolest one, bro. If you read the stories about that guy, you don't get an argument, bro. Teddy Roosevelt's the coolest president. You don't get an argument. There, there is none. Teddy was a bamf, bro. Tier list of your vids? Yeah, we already kind of were talking about that with RTTTA. Uh, I'd, I'd say we just leave it at RTTTA. Because I've... If we did all my videos, at this point, I've, I've easily uploaded over, like... Granted, a lot of them aren't... Uh, are no longer around. But I've easily uploaded probably 200 to 300 videos. A few too many! Your list of Star Wars movies. Old sport always with the Star Wars stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, we could do that. We could definitely do that. Yeah, let's do like the really general ones first. We'll get deeper down the rabbit hole as we go. How about that? How about that? Beanie colors? Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Make sure you put Last Jedi at the bottom. Oh yeah, that's easy. That's easy. John C. Stout once again raiding with a party of 27. Thank you so much, bro. You do it, you do it like. Is there nobody, is there nobody else more interesting to raid right now? How does this keep happening? Thank you so much, bro. Appreciate it. Hey, we're making tier lists today. Of God knows what. I just started like 15 minutes ago. So. If you do plan to stick around, hello. If you don't, perfectly fair. Perfectly fair, I totally understand. But thank you very much, John. Thank you for that raid. Seriously, truly appreciate that, man. Welcome, welcome, raiders. Been playing Final Fantasy VII a bit more. The story's great near the end. I got an old Chocobo and I'm about to fight Sephiroth. Dude, it's a great game. It's a fantastic game. Hey, you wanna know uh, an RPG, JRPG, I tried playing the demo of yesterday? Uh, Trial of Mana Remake. No, gonna go on a date with the woman? Heck yeah, dude. Have a great night, man. Have fun. Don't get drunk. Virgo. 2422 with the follow, thank you. Anyway, I I played Trial of Mana demo. Explosion 123 as well with the follow, thank you. I, I tried playing that demo and I'm sorry. Pele plays. Uh, Pele? Pele plays? Thank you. 
Um, I tried playing that demo, man, and wow, that is some of the worst voice acting I've heard in a long time. Sorry. That that was bad. Is this gonna be a YouTube video? I have no clue. It'll it'll probably it'll be a VOD. Which I need to ask you guys about that. What like should I just upload every stream to the channel, to the VODs channel? Which by the way, I have a new VODs channel. I if you just put in I think I think if you just put in youtube.com slash C slash G Willy streams, I think is what I made the link. Uh yeah, I have a new VODs channel now. So uh you know there's that. But like sh okay, every stream or should it just be ones that are a little bit more special? Cause it's gonna be hard to start titling them. F Zero Stream Part 536. Oh. Dang, I'm so mad I missed the first 535. This seems like 50-50. It seems like half of you guys are saying all of them and half of you guys are saying maybe just more of the special ones. Final Fantasy tier list of all the games? I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah, let's let's just start. Let's start with like incredibly general and work our way down the rabbit hole. I don't know you much, my man, but uploading VODs for people to watch in the background while playing their own games or studying and whatnot gives them a variety to check out. I'd say all of them. Okay. Okay. I like your reasoning. Tearless ideas, double dash stages, Sonic soundtracks. Sonic soundtracks, that's good. That's good. Somehow I went on a date with Barrett. Yeah, that happened because you were completely indifferent equally to both Tifa and Aerith. Way to go. The Barrett date's pretty good, though. That's pretty great. Retro video game music tier list. Oh, God, that'd be so huge. These are all great. Okay, we just gotta start. We just gotta start because these are all great and I have no clue. Let's just start super general because I've never even done one of these before, so we should probably just, like, get our feet wet, right? And, and then we'll and then we'll get more intense as we go, right? Okay, so so we'll start with uh, we'll start with like Nintendo consoles. I think that's I think that's easy, right? That's pretty general. Um, right, music's still going cool. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, sponsored by Mint Mobile. Uh, I don't freaking know what even all these ads, bro. 10 bits from random Joshua. Thank you I know I asked about it earlier in discord, but you still down for a tier list of your most popular twitch clips Maybe This is using significant memory Shut up. Just reload it Just reload it. Why are you not reloading it? Don't give me trouble now. All right. Well, okay. Here's the thing though. A transition though oh you like that uh here's the thing though uh surely there's a template that i can just look up already for this right nintendo yeah let's just say nintendo nintendo switch game exclusives game tier list for all franchises nintendo girls that's a good one we should do that um nintendo ips yeah, none of these are, uh... Controllers? There's video game consoles. I think that's, I think that's even more general. Pelly Plays, I hope I'm saying your name right. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Huge shout outs. Can we get a ton of Brian's in the chat for Pele? Really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Welcome to Kingdom Guards. Exclamation point sub for the perks and benefits you just got. No way we're not making that sub goal. Dude, I made it very, very easy. Literally, for every sub, we'll do another sub, a tier list. And I'm gonna be gracious. Honestly, it could be like 0.5 subs, which makes no sense. But, Pele. Pele, Pele, got it. Okay, uh, well, okay, so there's video game consoles. That's like, That every Sonic game ever, dude. There's so many good ones here. 
Well, okay, so why is it that... Why is it that when I first put it in... There we... And now it's there. Alright. Video game consoles! Smash old song. We are... We're cl It should update automatically. I think we're one out. So, the deal with that Smash Old song is it was a song that I did with Youngtown a few years ago, but it never got finished, and I'm still hurt about it, because it's kind of a long story, but Pele just making sure. He's like, bro, I want to hear it. It was a song that never got finished. Um, thank you so much, Pele. I, I keep saying Pele. Pele, thank you so much. Um, truly, truly appreciate that. Well, let me go ahead... Uh, boy. Should I show that now? I guess I can show that now. Gosh. I, I, I'm getting distracted. I just want to get to the making the tier list. Um, yeah, you know what? Here, we're going to hold off and do the old thing. I honestly was not expecting that right now. Thank you so much. Truly appreciate that, uh, Pele. Big shout-outs. Welcome back to Kingdom Guards Fuzzy Watermelons, courtesy of Pele. Huge shout-outs to Pele. Seriously, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... Uh, uh, just want to spread love and positivity, man. Love the vibe of the stream. Hey, thanks, dude. I'm I'm glad you're here, dude. Truly really appreciate that, man. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Here, I will. Why is Subgold not? Is it seriously refusing to update? It should be updating, shouldn't it? All right. Well, I'll check. That that should be updating. If it doesn't within the next few minutes, then something's wrong. Um, we will, uh, we'll get back to that. Let's go ahead. Okay. S, A, B, C, D. Can we, we can add. I mean, why would we add, though? Uh, here, 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 here. Here, no, no, we're, we are. We're going to add one. Can I add one? Yeah. We're going to get, we're going to make it gray. And we're going to say it's F for utter failure. Well, oh, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad. That changed that guy. So let's let's bring this guy back. I, I don't know if I uh, let's see this one. Yeah, maybe I, that's fine. Who cares? This one needs to be gray, and it needs to be F. There we go. There we go. Fixed it. Um. All right. I feel like this song is super loud, too. All these songs from Sonic Riders, dude, I love them, but they're so loud. Turn it down a little bit. Um, Alright, okay. So, I assume this is all the video game consoles. Like I said, we're starting general, and then we'll get more ridiculous as we go. Um, Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis, I feel, is pretty solidly A. Uh, I mean, I could see it being B, uh, because perhaps compared to the SNES, I suppose it depends on who you ask, but its library could be weaker. Uh, but th the strong games on the Genesis are some of the strongest of that entire generation, if you ask me. I'm a little bit of a Genesis boy myself, so I feel like personally I'm gonna say A. Um, like... Y'all know me as, like, this Nintendo bro. Um. But, like, I'm a, I'm a huge sucker for, for, uh, for Nintendo. Uh, or excuse me, for Sega as well. Um. Like, I'm big on Nintendo, but I, I'm a big sucker for Sega. Um. So I feel like, I feel like Genesis has got to be up there in A. But the thing is... You know, I think SNES is up there in A tier as well, you know? That was one of the best video game competitions ever. I think they both had something really good going for them. Um, what I'm noticing here is they, they also have the Famicom uh, Japanese, the original Famicom version as well. So I, I, can, I can do both. Um, 
you know what though for aesthetic sake um i like the snes's design but it yellows number one it yellowed now i don't know if this happened with the famicom counterpart as well it may it may easily have but uh but for that reason alone you know what snes is going b tier super famicom is going a tier also because colored buttons i'm sorry but i i far prefer like japan the famicom's colored buttons over the the boring like purple and blue buttons of the snes just gonna be honest um so i'm gonna put i'm gonna put the super famicom actually above snes all right this is uh you know what you know what no no we, we gotta add a, add a new row we gotta add a new row What the frick even is this? I, I can't even see that. Hold on. Okay, we're just gonna do this. What the frick even is this? Is that an Atari? Is that like a new is that like the 3D up dude? I don't remember that Turbo Graphic 16. All the more reason, dude. Nobody like that I I I've heard about the Turbo Graphic 16. I know about the Turbo Graphic 16. I know it existed. That is it. And I think that goes for 80 to 90 percent of the population. They look at that and go, "What the frick is even is this? What even?" Now, I would be interested to play it, but I think it falls under. It's not even a fail. It didn't even bomb hard. Nobody even knows what it is. Okay, so that one falls under. What even is this? Um, this one kind of does too. What is, okay, does anybody know what this is? I, I genuinely cannot recognize what that one is. I, I genuinely have absolutely no clue what that is. Does anybody know what this is? This one at least looked recognizable to me. This just looks like a VCR. That's the CDI? LOL. All right, well, we're putting this in, in absolute doom then, though, because everybody talks about this. Everybody talks about the CDI because it was an absolute fail. It was an absolute fail, F for fail. So it falls under F because it's infamous, right? It's not, it's not like, people don't just like not know what it is. Most everybody knows what it is. But everybody talks about it because of how much of a disaster it was. So that falls under F. Maybe Waves the second? Uh, 23 months. So close to two years. Thank you so much, dude, for your continued support, man. I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, it looks like Bait resubbed. I didn't get any notification, but his emote's back. So I guess that we're now at four out of... This just keeps going up every time. This just keeps going up every time. So, um, literally, I just keep making more tier lists the more subs we get. Uh, okay. This looks like a uh, monstrosity. What? What is this? This is yet. Yeah, this looks like a tablet. Is this like a drawing tablet? Is this a drawing tablet? What? Sega Pico? A educational console? I've heard of it. I've heard- I, No, I was about to say this looks like a leapfrog. I've heard of the Pico. I've heard of it. But that's it. I've heard of it. Um, okay, this is, uh, is this the three- One of these is the three- No, this is the Atari Jaguar. Which I never played. But I think it had some- decent stuff on like some interesting it was definitely ahead of its time it, it didn't really do very well and i think this i think this goes for the 3do as well this goes for the 3do as well both of these were like they they were very innovative in certain ways they were kind of ahead of their time but unfortunately they just did not hit the mark you know the ps1 pr pretty much just stomped on all of them um but especially these guys. These guys got hard stomped. Um, so they probably fall under D tier because I think they probably have some quality games. 
But I've heard a lot of people say that, like, it's not enough to warrant getting the console for the sake of having the console for fun. Maybe as a collectible, it's good. But that's about it, I'd say. I'd say these are good collectible consoles, but I don't know if they're good quality systems. You know what I mean? But I don't... I'm not quite sure they're awful enough to fall under fail. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um... Weren't supported enough to make them worth it. Yeah, that that's what I've heard. Uh, Sega Saturn. Alright, y'all might think I'm crazy for this one, but C tier. Bro, this thing was an absolute failure. They screwed up so much with it. There's no mainline Sonic title on the... Well, at least, not, I mean, unless you count 3D Blast, I suppose. There's not really a mainline 3D title on the system. But it has got some of the... It's got some bangers, bro. The, dude, Saturn has got some really great games. Gotta get ready for work, so I've gotta hit the road. Very big fan already, surely. Gonna do my best to be here more often. Hey, thanks, Pele. Truly, truly appreciate that, man. Thank you so much for your support, dude. I, it's very, very highly appreciated. Big shout outs. Thank you so much. You have a great night, man. Have a good time at work. What is a 3D blast? Yes, yeah. So, yeah. Saturn had some bangers of games. It's got it's got um Knights. I think that's a big one. Panzer Dragoon is a, is one that a lot of people you you won't hear them shut up about it. Okay. Um, you've got what what else do do we have? Daytona. You've got some good racing games on the Saturn. Actually, you've got some solid racing games. Uh, Sega Rally is another a racing game. You've got Virtua Fighter, bro. Virtua Fighter on the Saturn, pretty good. Knights release on the Saturn. That's what I'm saying. Um, Panzer Dragon was Saturn. Yes, it was. Um, so those alone, I think, are enough to warrant. You know, it's not like it wasn't a remarkable console. Honestly, if you look into the history and the technicalities of it, it's a Frankenstein of a system, dude. They had a panic attack, like, at hour 11, like, suddenly realizing, um, wait, this system has to be 3D to put up a fight against the competition. Because they made the whole system thinking, ah, baloney to... 3D, we're just gonna make a really powerful 2D system. Well, when they realized that PC, PS1 was taking off, they were like, oh God, we've gotta, we've gotta um, make this thing 3D capable. And so they just slapped on some extra CPUs to make it more powerful, but it became a disaster to program for. Uh, and so that's the Frankenstein of a game system. Anyway, um, yeah, so, not a great infrastructure, not, not the best, um, developer support by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, probably among the worser, uh, <laughs> uh, but the games that it did have were pretty killer. Also, Sonic R, not a great game. But it's, it's a little underrated, actually. People give it more crap than it deserves. It's not that bad. It's not, it, it deserves the crap it gets for some of the stuff in that game. It's a very flawed game, but it does not deserve the crap it gets. Rubby W10 with 10 months getting really close to that one year. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate the continued support. Trying to get in a Final Fantasy franchise, doesn't matter the order I play them in. No, it absolutely does not. I would highly suggest starting with seven. I think I think a really good impression uh, right off the start is the best way to go. Uh, you'll have to get beyond the crappy graphics and the sometimes incredibly aged and clunky mechanics. But Final Fantasy VII is a um, I, I think one of the best starts you you could have to the the franchise. Other than maybe six, some people will argue for four or nine, but uh, personally, I would say six or seven. I would start with six or seven. Um, anyway, uh, okay, back to this. PS1. I gotta go B tier. I, I think I gotta go B tier. Uh, this might be...
I might go A. I might go A. I, I think I gotta go A. I think I gotta go A. Because here's the deal. PS1 is so important for so many reasons, obviously. Um, you know, I'm thinking compared to PS2. And the reality is, I think I like a little bit more PS1 games than PS2 games. I think I would put PS2 B tier. I think PS1 is A tier. I... I, I love so many games on the PS1. Like, okay, literally some of the first games I ever played were on the PS1, and they, they stick with me to this day. Spider-Man for the PS1, banger. Okay, Need for Speed, banger. Okay, Final Fantasy VII, banger. Okay, sorry, I'm probably gonna drive someone nuts. I should shut up now. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> I live in an apartment. Somebody's gonna be banging. I'm gonna hear pounding. Um, we, we got some serious bangers on the PS1. Um, uh, you know, I, there's a lot of games that I don't care for on the system that a lot of people love. I love Crash Bandicoot. It's not my favorite. I don't love it as much as I used to, but I do love Crash Bandicoot. It's very important. Spyro, big, big one. A lot of people are going to say Metal Gear. Yep, there it is. Metal Gear. A lot of people are going to say Metal Gear. Um... Yeah, there's some people mentioning GTA. I, I think it deserves A tier. This is my tier list, so it's my opinion. But even if I were di to disregard the games that not as many, that so many other people like that I may not, um, it, it's got it's got too many strong games that were so important to me. So I, I think I gotta go A tier on it. Um. Okay, what what's next? I recognize this. This is an Atari system. No, no, no. is this the Coleco? 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 How do you even say it? That's not. No, it's not. What is this? Is this the Magnavox? Is this the Odyssey? Dude, I don't even remember. Is this the Odyssey? Yes. Chat's delayed, so I have no clue what that was responding to. This is this is the Odyssey. Thanks for those bits, Robbie Dubby. Um Okay, um We're we're adding a new one. We're adding a new one. Oh, I did that wrong again. I keep doing that. No, 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 no. Nope, I'm blowing this. Stop it. I keep doing this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Um, I keep doing this. Here we go. Here we go. Old as dirt. Here we go. Here we go. All right. That's where that one goes. I can't categorize that, man. Literally, it was a whole, it was some dots on a screen and you had to put overlays on it. That's what I remember. Old as Garrett. Yeah, no, I, I would, <laughs> more like old as my mom. And that's not even a joke. I'm pretty sure the Magnavox Odyssey, when did the Magnavox Odyssey release? I'm pretty sure it's like as old as my mom. What year? What year was the uh, Magnum? 70? Yep, it's as old as my mom. It's as well, old as my mom. <laughs> so, there you go. Um, I have no clue what this is. It looks neat. What is this? Was it Apple's attempt at a gaming console in the 80s? That we know exactly where that falls. That's, it's remarkable they even have that. That is definitely a what the frick even is this category. Literally, I'm sure Apple wants to forget about it. I'm sure there's, I, I'm sure 95% of people that work at Apple, even the higher ups, probably, probably would see that and go, what the frick even is this? So, um, yeah. 
Nintendo 64! Gotta go S tier. Gotta go S tier. Listen, dude. Listen, dude. It only has 20 really good games and about 10 really great games. But... The games that it has, I'm sorry, it has some of the greatest games of all time. It gets, it gets S tier, okay? It's very nice that I stick in a cartridge, but let's, let's not forget the experience. Now, this isn't, to, obviously PS1 and all those fall under this as well. But here's what's really nice about, about the, this era of games as well, okay? You put in the cartridge... Make sure you might have to blow on it. Um, put in the cartridge, plug in your controller if you haven't already. You probably already have, but make sure the controller is plugged in. Flip on the switch. You're playing your game. Wow! Isn't technology great? Where have we gone? That was beautiful, okay? That's just a side note. That's that just helps make it great. Again, the PS1 did the same thing. 64, though, with the cartridges. The cartridges is what made, is, I, I think things would be very different if they went with discs. I think they'd be very different if they went with discs. Uh, I think it was almost entirely a mistake for them to go cartridges instead of discs. However, cartridges does make things load much faster, okay? So... There's that too, but all of that aside, I'm sorry, Wavery 64, 1080 Snowboarding, Mario Kart 64, Ocarina of Time, Super Mario 64, the Mario Party series, which actually I never even played on the 64. I'm ranking an S tier and I've never even played Mario Party, okay? On the 64. Um, 007, bro, the rare games, all the rare games, yeah, they're Star Fox 64. Dude, these are masterpieces. There is no arguing. They are masterpieces. They are some of the greatest games ever made and some of the most important games ever made. Uh, like, yeah, uh, you, Majora's Mask, yeah. I, I, I think it goes without saying, 64 gets S tier. Uh, now I could understand wanting to maybe put PS1 on S tier for some people, but for me personally, no, I'm sorry. 64 is S tier. Listen, dude. Yes, it only has like about 20 really solid games. Maybe 30 decent games. 30 decent games. 20 really solid games. About 15 really great games and about 10 incredible games, I would say. But those 10 to 15... I'm sorry, man. I gotta give it S tier for that. Uh, Sega Dreamcast. This is tough. This is tough. Where does Dreamcast go? Where does Dreamcast go? It's got so it it birthed Sonic Adventure. It birthed Sonic Adventure 2. It birthed Jet Set Radio. It birthed Space Channel 5. It 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 birthed Shenmue, which as flawed as that game is, is one of the most intriguing things. I think the passion behind trying to make a comeback with the Dreamcast is enough to make it at least B tier, maybe A tier. The passion and the love behind trying to make the Dreamcast their comeback machine Fantasy Star Online, dude, it, it's at least B tier. It's at least B. I'm gonna go with B tier. I, I don't think it's quite, it's not quite on the same level of, of like, I don't know. What, what I more quickly put, oh man, this is tough. It's kind of really close for me between like the Dreamcast and like the PS1. But I would definitely put the SNES and the and the Genesis above it, which makes me question if the PS1 is A tier for me. Like how how much more do I like the PS1 and the PS2? I don't think it's by a lot. 
I think they're roughly in the same same area. SNES good as a Dreamcast? No, that's fair. I put I put SNES and B tier as opposed to the Super Famicom because I like the Super Famicom's design better. This is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. It's your opinion or overall view? It's my opinion. Um, where does... I'm not... Con Dude, PS1 has got so many good games. But it... Oh. I'm I'm actually I'm I'm a little at war with myself right now. I'm a little at war with myself. B plus Yeah, I, I think I think we're gonna I think I'm gonna need to add another one. I'm sorry guys. It's like it's almost in fact I think it'd be better if I put it this way. I think it'd be better if I put it this way. PS2 can play PS1, can it? Mmm, fair point. Fair point. The backwards compatibility is flawless. Bro, I gotta put both of them. I gotta put both of them here. Fair point. Yeah, I, I gotta go with that. I, I think I gotta go with that. I think the Dreamcast has more personality than the PlayStation as well. I, I'm kind of with you. Oh, I'm just trying to get like, am I now just basing this off of general like objective, like what's or like how I feel about this? What does my gut say? You know what I mean? I think my gut still says that there's more games I'd rather play on the PS1. I think I love the the approach of the Dreamcast more, but the only game on the Dreamcast that I could play over and over and over again. Now granted, maybe that gives it the upper hand, but the only game on the Dreamcast that I could play over and over and over again and have is Sonic Adventure. So I gotta say it's really close. I gotta say it's really close, but I I I I think I think PS2 slash PS1 still has the upper hand just a little, just a little. Um, okay, GameCube. Yeah, hold on, hold on. It did it again. All right, Evan, hold on. No questions asked. No questions asked. These are the facts. Um... Xbox. Oh boy. Uh, pfft. here's the reality. Xbox had Halo 2 and Halo 1 for that matter. It it had some really solid games on it, but I didn't really experience it the same way as I think a lot of people did. I don't know. That was not really I I experienced it for sure, but it wasn't I, I'm going to have to say C tier for for Xbox. Um, 
It's... Oh. No, no, I think I say B tier. It's got Halo 2, dude. It's got Halo 2. It's got Halo 2, and it's got quite a few fun... I, 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 I say B tier. I say B tier. I think the Xbox was B tier. It, it's got... It's got... Because what I'm thinking is, like, it's got... Some really fun games, but overall the system I don't really care for. But then I thought, I think it's got just a few more games that I really care about on it. That I enjoyed, at least, than the Saturn. Maybe? No, no, I'm going back again. I'm going back. I'm going back. Halo 2 is it, man. And Combat Evolved. I like, okay, so there's those two... What else is on the Xbox that I, like... Forza? Did Forza really get it start that early on? Dang. <laughs> Xbox is the Dreamcast too. <laughs> kind of. I think this game... I think the Xbox may have le I think... I think the Xbox is the Halo machine. And is that worth it being D B tier for me? I just don't know. I think it is. I think it is. Halo is one of the greatest multiplayer games of all time. I think it is. I, I think B tier is very solid for it. Um, Psychonauts? I don't give a living crap about Psychonauts. Sorry. Um, Xbox 360. Uh, this one definitely is. A. A. Bro, Halo 3 and Halo Reach, I played the living crap out of. Those are some of the greatest multiplayer experiences I've ever had. I played Modern Warfare. Now, granted, Modern Warfare, the Call of Duty games were also on the PS3, but the PS3 crapped the bed for the first few years of its life. It it figured itself out in the second half, but it was garbage for the first few years. Um, I mean, okay, garbage is is exaggerating, but it was not it was not uh, good for the first little bit there. Xbox 360, on the other hand, um, had Halo 3, Halo Reach, both with Forge mode. Um, it had, it, and, it, and it had all the other games, but I think because it, it was, it was so much more approachable as a console, I experienced all those games on the Xbox, so I have to give it the upper hand of, uh, uh, over PS3. So I'm sorry, PS3 for me, I, I'm probably gonna have to put an A, A minus. While, while both systems are very, like, they're very much on the same level, in hindsight, back during the time that they were, you know, the thing, it was definitely Xbox 360, man. It, it really was. And I think Halo is enough for it, but the fact that all of those, like, Modern Warfare 2 is one of my favorite multiplayer games of all time. Um, you know, obviously it also had Forza. You know, the Need for Speed games. Again, these games were on the PS3, but it's the fact that at the time, it just, it, it was the better system. You know, at least, at least until I'd say the late 2000s, early 2010s. And then PS3 started to figure itself out. Um, so, so yeah, I gotta say 360 over PS3 by a little bit. We, this get this thing is like in the same area code as 64. It had a crap ton of shovelware. Most of the third-party games, generally speaking, were trash. Um, so much shovelware. The Wii, the Wii's library, pretty much you could get it down to maybe 50 to 100 games tops that were really solid, uh, and the rest of it is just tr literal trash. Um, 
But there's a point to be made. It can play GameCube games that had virtual console. And let's not forget all the masterpieces on the system. Uh, obviously, Twilight Princess was on GameCube and was originally developed for the GameCube. But that is a fantastic game. Cardino DX with eight months. Thank you so much. Getting really close to that nine month diamond badge. Truly, truly appreciate it. Um, finally looked up the Sonic R soundtrack a couple days ago after listening to your stream. I've basically been listening. It's actually a pretty decent soundtrack. I'm not a huge fan of the singer, but like of TJ Davis. I but like at this point, it's charming. Where like I do like it for maybe the reasons I didn't originally. I don't know. I don't know. I do. I I really like the Sonic R soundtrack. Um, anyway. I think the Wii is S tier though, guys. I'm an I'm a Nintendo fart. I'm a Nintendo freak. It like it's got Super Mario Galaxy and two. And those aren't even my favorite like Mario games. But it, dude, Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort. Metroid Prime Trilogy. I mean there's so many. I could just look at my at my library right now you know mario kart we let's be honest guys brawl brawl was a banger it, it may be obsolete it may have actually potentially aged worse now spoiler alerts but it was a banger dude it was a good game okay we we got to come to terms with it just just because the just because the the super super melee elitists and this is coming from the guy who probably everybody would think would be a melee elitist just because mr i can do a wobble jump back throw wave shine magical sparkle fairy move you know says brawl is too slow for that kind of crap it doesn't mean the game wasn't fun dude come on i i played the living crap out of that out of that game okay i do I, now going back do i prefer melee oh yeah oh yeah but but we cannot we cannot sleep on the kid, dude. Brawl, Brawl was a banger, and everybody's got to come to terms with it. Even if it's not now, everybody just needs to be able to happily admit without feeling like they're going to get judged that they probably put at least 500 hours into that game, okay? Not, okay? Let's just address the white elephant in the room. Anyway, I'm not going to sit on this forever. The Wii is S tier. The Wii is S tier. It's got a whole bunch of crappy shovelware, but... But it's got so many good games. Wii U! Atari 2600! Um... This had some classic classics, but honestly, it's an old as dirt. It's old as dirt, dude. All right, all right, fine, fine, guys, fine, fine. It doesn't fall under CDI status, you're right. It's not that bad, it's D, it's D tier. It's D tier, I, it's... listen, man, it was for the memes, it's D tier. The Wii U's D tier. It can play Wii games? Yeah, but the Wii can play GameCube games. I would rather I would rather play my Wii that can play GameCube games as well because both of those are bangers or I could pick the Wii U with a crap ton of stupid games or just just here's here's what the Wii Wii U is. It's not that all the games were stupid. In fact, most of them weren't. They just played it safe. They weren't interesting. Most of them weren't that good. Not to mention because it was a fail, they like 90% of the library is now on the Switch. Why would I play the Wii U when I can play any of those titles now on the Switch? Like 90% of the library, I would say. Okay? I, I just, the Wii U, dude, it, it hurt my soul. It hurt my soul. I couldn't stand using that system. I couldn't stand using it. Like, just as the game system itself, I, on paper, it was a good idea. But 
the gimmicky concept of the screen down here and then the game up there and it just it feels plastic and toy-y in a way that's just oh i just don't like the wii u and i never have i never it has always hurt me i i just it does have a better virtual console yes it has a better virtual console but overall i just do not like the wii u i am a little bit more fond nostalgically speaking of certain elements of it now like slightly and maybe those will grow over time but the reality is it's d tier for me easily it's easily d tier i'm sorry um okay ps4 here's what i hate about the 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 new gen systems here's what i hate and and honestly the gen but seventh gen kind of did this as well but it just kept getting worse here's what's cool games ca games can hold more storage now that's great here's the problem we don't have the speeds to match that okay so what happens is you want to download an update for a game and you have to sit there and wait for three years to play your damn game it's stupid it's dumb remember how i noted how with the 64 i put in the cartridge i plug in the controller i flip on the switch we're good to go what happened listen i understand i understand like the more storage the more time it's going to take to load but why can't why can't they work together can we find a way where storage for things I know I'm talking out of my butt like all the computer guys are going that's not how it works Garrett I know but who cares I don't care make it where if you're if your freaking warzone game is gonna be 200 gigabytes which by the way that's stupid as garbage okay that's so dumb somebody doesn't know how to compress anything 200 gigabytes for that Give me a break, okay? So Warzone's 200 gigabytes. If I want to download it, I'm gonna have to wait like 50 years. Seriously, 200 gigabytes? Here's the biggest problem with the PS4, okay? Here's the biggest problem. All of that would be fine if it at least supported 5G internet, bro. Okay, maybe the new, I don't know about the newer models, but the OG PS4 model did not support, does not support um, more than 2G. So you get the slowest. You get like the slowest. 5G, it, like, so you have two options, at least here in America. Internet could be totally different where you are. Here's the difference. Here, here's the thing. You get, you generally have two options um, when uh, when you get internet, uh, or or your your phone. Like you'll look on your phone and you have two options. There's two gigahertz and there's five gigahertz. Um, two G, five G. That's what it says. And and basically, five gigahertz is going to be faster, right? Because the bandwidth is larger. It. PS4 does not support the larger 5 gigahertz. The Switch does, but the PS4 does not. So that can get very annoying because then crap is super slow. Uh, anyway, I've been talking forever about the PS4. Where would I put it on the list? All of that said, all my frustrations with it, I mean, they also randomly like just deleted my account. Like my account doesn't exist anymore. I tried getting it back. Their support sucks. PS4, you've hurt me. You've got some really, really good games. You've got some really good games, but also your exclusives aren't that great. You've only got a few incredible exclusives and the rest of it I could just get on my PC. Where do I put you? You're at least B. You might be C tier. P4. 
PS4 pissed me off. I'm sorry. The PS4 pissed me off with how much experience I've had with it at this point. There are very few points in which I've sat down just trying to work with my Switch. In fact, I could probably count all of them on three fingers. That I've sat there and um, on my Switch and been like, you're driving me crazy, why don't you work? I, I think I could probably count the stars in the sky and find an end to that before I would find an end to how many times I've been frustrated dealing with the PS4. But it's got incredible games. But not many exclusives. But it has Final Fantasy VII Remake. It's not a it's not A minus. It's definitely not A minus. It is for sure not A minus. It has Final Fantasy VII Remake, and it, it's got a few other really good exclusives, too. I, I can't think off the top of my head, but I know. I, I think it's B. I think it's B. It's pissed me off to no end. Based on the system structure. But I think the games outweigh that. Yeah. I, I, think, I think it's B. I think it's B. Uh, by the way, someone asked what the song is. This is Ungravitify. Gravitify, yeah. By Cash L from the Sonic Riders uh, Zero Gravity soundtrack. Um, okay, what is this? This is the Xbox One. Uh, Xbox One, I'm putting in D tier. Uh, because you could just get a PC. Uh, Switch, S tier. Uh, S tier. Switch is S tier. Uh, it's got... It, it is one of the easiest... The whole structure and system... Uh, the, the whole way the, the system is put together... Um, is... Okay, let me go through the cons real quick. Their backwards compatibility support is pretty lame. Their online sucks. Um, they definitely have planned obsolescence in their equipment, for sure. It falls apart in some stupid ways. However, the whole concept of the system is one of the most brilliant things ever. I have been dying for this day when they would have a system like this since I was a little kid, and they nailed it. They did. They nailed it. Um... I think the system looks good. I think it feels good to use it, to hold it, to play it. Uh, the Pro Controller, the biggest con is that it it breaks, um, but it is a great controller. Um, the Joy-Cons are way too expensive, but another great idea that does work. Um, the OS is easily my favorite OS for, I think, any game system ever. The faster you can get me to my game with the littlest BS, the more I'm going to love your system. Your system immediately gets to the top of the uh, top of the charts when your OS is built so that I pick up the thing and I'm in my game within 10 seconds. Period. There's no argument. So, for that reason alone, the Switch is easily S tier. But this isn't even getting into the fact that it has Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart 8, Smash Ultimate, the Xenoblade games. I mean, I honestly I could go on. I've got a giant library back here. And and even above that, it's got lots of games that other systems may have, but here's the big kicker. I can pick it up at any point that I want to and walk away and go wherever I want and I can play the game. It is S tier. Thank you and good night. Okay, next, Game Boy. I never played this, honestly. Um, so, I probably just put in an old as dirt, honestly. Honestly, I, I, I have no experience with the Game Boy. That was before my time. Um, so I'm gonna put, man, we, we've actually been working on this tier list forever. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna put this in old as dirt, honestly. Had Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening HD on the Switch is a banger. And it had Pokemon. But I didn't experience them. I, I, I think I gotta put it in old as dirt simply because it was before my time and I didn't play it on those systems. <laughs> the Game Gear. Uh, I've played some of these games because they were in other collections. And, um, they're fine. Also in old as dirt. Also in old as dirt. Uh, also the battery life apparently was really bad. So... Yeah. Virtual Boy. This is F. This is F because... Everybody talks about it. Everybody talks about the Virtual Boy. And... But it's never good. It's always that it's a disaster. This is definitely F. Right? What the frick even is this is for things that may have been a fail, but there's so much of a fail nobody even talks about them. F? Just for anybody that's newer here. F is for things that failed and are infamous for their bombing. We hear, we never hear the end of CDI or Virtual Boy as the butt of a joke. So, did you ever play the Mega Collection for the PS2? I didn't play the Mega Collection for the PS2, but I have it on the GameCube. Um, okay, what is this? This is definitely a handheld console. Is this something Sega? What is this? Wii's battery life was bad as well. It does as soon as I had plugged it. Huh. I don't, I, you should take that to the forums, man. I don't know if I can help you. Nomad? Is this Sega as well? This is, this, this is in what, what the frick even is this? It, it might be in old as dirt, honestly, but it, honestly, I, I think it's in what the frick even is this. Atari Lynx? Atari trying to make a portable? It's Nomad. Oh no, that's, okay. See, nobody can even agree. It's definitely what the frick even is this. I think this one also falls under that. What is this? What, what is this? This is the Neo Geo? I mean, I heard that these this system had some bangers. That is a joke. Wander Swan? Yeah, I have no clue. The, yeah, okay. Uh, okay. This is definitely, um, I personally never really had much expect. I didn't care for handheld games all that much, but I did play quite a bit of Game Boy Advance stuff with my buddies. So I have some fond memories of the Game Boy Advance. But I never had one myself. Oh boy. I think most other people would at least make it A minus or A. Or, or a I don't know if I can put it that high simply because of my personal experience. I think for, oh boy, it seems like, it seems like blasphemy to put it in C tier. But I think my enjoyment out of it has been about the same as the Saturn, which is to say not as much, but the experience that I've had has been very good. I think I'm gonna have to go C personally. I think anybody that argues for B or A or S, totally valid. But for me personally, I gotta go C. I gotta go C. Uh, okay, yet another one of the what the frick is this systems. I, I, until you guys give me an answer, I'm putting that there. Uh, that looks like the Atari... Is that the 5200? This also falls under old as frick. This is the Intellivision. Yet again, though, old as dirt. I mean... Uh, listen, there's some fun games on these, but like they're so old that really there's only a select few amount of games from that era that still are fun and and hold up today. You know what I mean? Like obviously Pac-Man, 
Galaga, Galaxian. You know, like, the, those kinds of games from that era, and granted, the best versions of those games are, are on arcade. They aren't even the, the console versions. Um, you know, for the most part, that era of gaming is just kind of, it's just old now. You know, there, there's, there are certainly fun games from that era. Donkey Kong is another one, you know, but I think that falls under old as dirt. This is the, okay, just one, that's the 3DS. This is the DS. Uh, I, again, I didn't own a DS, but I have even more experience with this one, bro. Mario Kart, Mario Kart, uh, like, Nintendogs, dude. <laughs> Oh gosh. It's at least on par with the Dreamcast and Xbox. In fact, we're gonna put these in the uh, like we're gonna go. I don't know if people do this, but we're gonna go like left to right. So like left being that like the closer it is to here, the the better it is on the list. If I go B tier, I'm thinking on this. I'm thinking. It also has backwards compatibility with Game Boy Advance games. So that definitely gives it the upper hand ab uh, above Advance. Uh, here, here, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with B because here's the reality. I don't have as much experience with the DS as a lot of people do. I have more experience with the Dreamcast than the DS at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Do I? I love the passion. I uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick here. I think this one's really hard, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna have it there. I'm gonna stick there. PSP. I have like I, I think I played I, I think I played my friends for like two minutes one time like 15 years ago. PSP. No clue. No clue. Um. Uh, I, you know what? I'm gonna go with chat consensus on this one. I'm gonna go with chat consensus. What does chat consensus say on PSP? Because I literally have like no experience. All right, we'll go see. We'll go see. All right, 3DS. I gotta put 3DS higher than DS. I'm sorry. I hope that's not blasphemy. I gotta put 3DS higher than, than, than DS. And the reason is because number one, I actually, 3DS is the first handheld console that I actually got. You wanna know why? Cause I have Fire Emblem Awakening. Winner, 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 chicken dinner, bro. Um, there's tons of incredible games on the system, but for me, it's definitely the Fire Emblem system. That's why I like it so much. Um, but even beyond that, there were a lot of other games I remember playing on it that I really enjoyed. Mario Kart 7 is personally, like, probably my least favorite Mario Kart, and even then, it's still fantastic. Uh, the only other Mario Kart that I might put below it is Super Mario Kart. Um, but even then, I love Mario Kart 7. I love the whole infrastructure of the system. Yeah, it, it's definitely got, it's definitely A minus. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it A minus and I'm gonna put it. Yeah, we're gonna do this. I think that's fair. Uh, okay, this is the PS Vita, I think. Yet again, no experience. Oh, it also had the Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask remakes. Frick, dude.
I'm gonna keep it at A minus. I'm gonna keep it at A minus. Low B. Dang! That thing sold like trash! Holy cow! Wow, so this is one of those like unsung heroes kinds of things. Wow, you guys actually like the PS Vita more than the PSP? Really? It's just the worst PSP. See, that's not what everybody else is saying here. Low B. Low C. Dang. Now it's looking C or D. Wow! Dang! The feelings of this one seem to be very... Um... There's a lot of variety in opinions on this one. It's very split. Definitely not better than the GBA. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, we're gonna put it here. We're gonna put it behind the PSP. We're gonna put it right there. Um, This is the ooh la, ooh, whatever the frick. This is that... Like, like, what do I, what do I even say about this? Did people like this? It like existed for five minutes and then everybody was like, cool, that was a thing. Is it F tier? I don't even know, bro. Was this an absolute fail? It was horrible. Okay, we're gonna add a row below. Uh, okay. The Game & Watch, bro, that falls under all this dirt. That's old as dirt. Uh, this also falls. This is this is a Coleco, isn't it? Coleco. Or is that the? What? I get these all mixed up, bro. I'm not old enough for this crap. Um, I have absolutely no idea what that's supposed to be. It looks old. It looks old. It looks, I'm, I'm about to put it in old dirt, but I, it, unless it's like actually well known or not known at all, I mean, excuse me. All right, I, I think this falls under what, what even is this? All right, here's the classic original Famicom. Mm, where does, where does the classic Famicom go? Oh, that's the 7200 or the fit? This is just going under old as dirt. We're just gonna play it safe and put it there. Um. Okay, Famicom. These two are essentially the same. I will be honest. The NES does just look like a freaking box, but I think I like its design a little more than the Famicom. So based on that alone, I would probably put the NES above the Famicom by a little bit. The NES has, the NES is one of the most important video game systems ever made. But how much do I want to play and care about it? It has really fun games. Really fun games. but not so fun that I'll keep coming back and playing.
But the games it has still hold up fairly well. The, 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 the best ones. This is personal opinion I want to remind everybody. If we were going objectively, I would probably put it very high because of how important it is. But I think if we're just talking my personal feelings on it, I'm gonna have to say C tier. I appreciate the system so much. I'm definitely putting it above uh, uh, here before PSP. And then I'll put this one right here. But. Yeah, I can't I can't go any higher than that. I it's there are definitely fun games on it and it's got some classics. And it is truly one of without a doubt one of the like probably like top 3 most important video game systems ever made. Its historical significance cannot be overstated. But, I don't think I care to go back and play its games that often, you know? I have an NES, and I don't remember the last time I turned it on. I just, you know, like, I have more recently turned on my SNES, my Saturn, and my Genesis. You know, I, I just never touched that thing. Sorry, I'm sorry, NES. So I got I gotta go C tier. I gotta go C tier. Um Alright, what is this? I recognize this. This looks very familiar. What is this? This is a 7800. Does this fall under what even is this? Does this fairly fall under what even is this? Uh, I, I, like, I recognize it. I think, personally, it's above what even is this. Would it be F? Did it bomb hard? Old as dirt, yeah, that might be fair. Well, old as dirt might be more fair. And then the Master System. Uh, the Master System is definitely below the NES. I, I think it's pretty easily on the same level as these, where, like, there's some solid games on it, but there's also a lot of not solid games. It didn't do too great, and it just feels insignificant. You know, honestly, though, honestly, of all these, we're going to put these in correct order. Wii U, I would put at the top. Wii U, I would put at the top of this section. Even with all my disappointment with it. Um, I don't really know anything about these. Except that they just kind of existed. And that they had some decent stuff on them, I think. So this is this is how I'm going to order this. Well, that, that tier list took way longer than I thought, but there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There is that tier list. There is the video game console tier list. Not arguable. Am I a little bit of a Nintendo fart? Yeah. Yeah, I think you can probably see it here. I might just possibly have... Might just possibly... Like, Nintendo. But... Um, you know what though? Actually, we're gonna we're gonna correct something here. There we go. There you go. Now, there you go. Gart the Nintendo fart. Yep, there you go. Uh, I think I've decided the Switch is like my favorite system since the GameCube. So it's definitely above the Wii. What's up, Green Games? Genesis, I do put over 
Super Famicom. I, I, here's the reality. I, I've only ever played the SNES, not the Super Famicom, but I just like the way the Super Famicom looks more. So, Switch above 64? No. Nope. 64 has Super Mario 64. It has Ocarina of Time. Uh, maybe in a few years. Maybe in a few years I'll reconsider because Breath of the Wild is my favorite game system of all time. It's my favorite game of all time. But... I'm gonna head out. All right, peace out, Robbie Dubby. Thanks for thanks for coming by, man. But yeah, I still gotta. At the moment, I still definitely gotta give 64 the upper hand. May, we'll, we'll see. In it. Did I say favorite game system? My bad. Yeah, I, I sometimes I accidentally words come out of my mouth and um yeah favorite game of all time. My bad. Um. But yeah, at the moment, I still gotta give 64 the upper hand. Like, Switch has definitely got the better life. Yeah. It, it's just, at that point, it's a personal, it's... I, I'm just so attached to the 64. It, it's going to be hard for me to ever let go of that being, like, other than the GameCube, you know, my favorite game system of all time. But, yeah, anyway. Genesis above SNES by a little bit. By a little bit. Um, 360 up there, yeah. I mean, here's the thing, though. This uh, this is above 360 for me, but not, you know, it don't look that way. PS2 above the PS1, yeah, because you can play PS1 games on the PS2. 3DS, yeah. PS3, solid stuff. I did have some good times with it, but yeah. Yeah, I think this looks right. I think this looks right to me. If I've upset anybody with my opinion, I'm sorry. It is my opinion. But uh, but there you go. There's the game system tier list. All right. Uh, what should I do? Should I share this? I'll, I'll just screenshot it for now. All right, I can put it on Twitter and I will start a fight. But hey, maybe it's worth it. But maybe it's worth it. Um, what's up, Franco? How you doing? Um, all right, uh, what was next? We had so many suggestions. What was another one that we suggested doing? Yeah, no, these are all dumb. You guys had some good ideas at the beginning of the stream. Zelda games tier list? I could do that. Put it on Twitter again, no cloud at all. I mean, yeah, the, the reality is I, I'd probably get canceled for it. It's Twitter. RTTA, okay, no, we're not doing that now. I've realized how long just this took. Final Fantasy games. Let's do, okay, we'll do Zelda and then we'll do, we'll do Zelda first. We'll, we'll start with Zelda. Here we go. I did get that screenshot right before we lose this forever. I mean, I guess it's on the stream VOD, but okay. Yeah, no, I got it. Okay. Um, okay. Zelda. Let, nope, there it was. And it was taking forever to load. Okay. All right. Here we go. Part two, Electric Boogaloo. Double Dash Tracks, yeah, that, that was a good, oddly specific one. I think we'll definitely do that. Um, all right. Uh, there it is, I was wondering. Well, I, we all know what I put as number one. So here's the tough part, here's the tough part. As you guys may know, I actually, basically what I'm getting at is this tier list could change very quickly. 
I started going back a few months ago, and in fact, I gotta continue. Uh, I gotta go back to it, but I started a few months ago replaying Twilight Princess again. Probably like my fourth playthrough at this point. And I'm just starting to realize, wait, I'm not sure this is my second favorite Zelda game anymore. And I started thinking, you know, I might like Wind Waker more. But I don't know. I feel like I gotta go back and play Wind Waker now. So, because, because of that, I might put them both on the same tier and just give Wind Waker the upper hand because I feel like I might like Wind Waker a little more. But that is so tough for me. Um, so at the moment, we're gonna say, where's Wind Waker, here it is, Wind Waker, A tier. And where's Twilight Princess? I've got to be skipping it. Where is it? There it is. A tier. But I'm going to give Wind Waker the slight edge. Um, I just, I think, oh, it's so hard, man. Uh, all right. What else do we got here? Link Between Worlds? All right. I am more than willing to go back and try it again. In fact, I'd like to. Because the first time I played it, I just could not get into it. I just could not get into it. But then I went and got myself through Link's Awakening and realized I love 2D Zelda. At least because of Link's Awakening. And then I started playing A Link to the Past and I was really liking A Link to the Past. In fact, I still haven't finished Link to the Past. But that said, Link Between Worlds in my experience wasn't a huge fan of wasn't a huge fan of may even be a little aggressive it just didn't hold me it didn't keep me but this could that could be different now i am more than willing to be proven wrong on that so at the moment i'm gonna i'm gonna put in c tier but that could change like i said all of this could change literally within months a Link to the Past, I'm going to put B tier at the moment. I I might even say A tier, but I don't think so. I, I think I'm going to say B. Um, Four Swords Adventures. Uh, this game didn't hold me either, but I was enjoying it. In fact, I think I was enjoying it maybe a little more than Link Between Worlds. So I'm going to have to say C tier, but I'm going to put it above Link Between Worlds by just a little bit. Uh, what is this? This is just f Link to the Past, Four Swords. Uh, I have no opinion. I have no opinion. I'm just gonna put in a uh, add row below. No opinion. Or, well, we'll just say haven't played. I mean, the, the reality is that it, it, it has... The reality is, is that it's got a link to the past, so it can't be that bad, right? It, it, in fact, it's probably good, but... Um... Why does it feel like so many are missing? Oh, there's a save download here. I, I probably should have just done that instead of screenshotting, shouldn't I? Um... Here's the Link's Awakening. I'm putting this in A tier. I'm going to put it... Actually, yeah, I am. I'm going to put it A tier. That is, seriously, I think it's become one of my favorite Z Zelda games. Um, though, particularly the HD remake, but so long as we count both. Um, it probably feel, I, I know that Hy the Hyrule Warriors games aren't here. I think it's just a, the, only the mainline game, Shy Guy. Um, Majora's Mask... I'm sorry, guys. I know a lot of elitists are going to be very upset about this. Here's the reality. Here's the reality. I can't get into this game. And it's just... It's literally just because it is too stressful of a game for me. I 100% respect anybody that thinks this is the greatest Zelda game of all time. I think there are 
so many valid arguments for it. I am willing to agree with you on that from an objective standpoint. However, personally, playing it myself, I can't do it, bro. I can't do it. So I'm gonna have to probably put it I'm gonna have to put it C tier. I'm gonna have to put it like here. Hey, babe. How you doing? Work okay? Was work okay? I'm currently making a tier list of best Zelda games. Just cuz. Yeah, probably. What is your favorite Zelda game? Yeah. She said that's an annoyingly difficult question. Say what again? In the context of your end all be all, like your absolute favorite Zelda game. Is it really that tough for you? Do you not really have like a Zelda game that you're like, oh my gosh, that was definitely my favorite one? Well, Breath of the Wild was so clearly the way every Zelda game should be, gameplay wise. I loved the open world, it was beautiful. Horses! You think it's how everyone should be or just the right direction for it? The right direction. I think that. Zelda games were always meant to be this open world adventure, but because of game limitations, it, they couldn't be to that tier. So like, yeah, sure. Ocarina of Time... I could, I could see that. Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess, even. Ocarina of Time was such a perfect story where I was intrigued the entire time. Twilight Princess came out at a time in which I was just like head over heels for Zelda games. And it was like edgy and it was awesome because it was just higher graphics and oh, the story was intense and I loved it. So if anything, it's between Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, and Breath of the Wild, all for different reasons, because Breath of the Wild's story just was eh to me. Like, it was cool, cool idea, mm -hmm. but they messed up the end, Yeah. and I was very angry, and I put so much time and effort into the game that I felt like it did not give me what I deserved. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, whereas Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess kind of kept me in the game because of the story and that's it if that makes sense yeah skyward sword kind of because i was more i but i was i hated playing the game i hated playing it yeah so anyway long-winded but you're between twilight princess ocarina of time and breath of the wild it's like they're all if they were all mixed into one game like I'm thoroughly excited for the sequel of Breath of the Wild because I have hope that the story is only going to get better I enjoy the characters I enjoy playing the game so I have hopes that they will improve upon the story and that could easily be my favorite game mm -hmm. you know yeah. That's, that's, yeah. So it's like, those three are the epitome of the best Zelda game ever. Yep. In my opinion. Because they all have fantastic things that the other one doesn't. Gotcha. 
Thank you for your opinion. You're very welcome. Just curious. There's no simple answer with Zelda. No. It, it, for me, at least. For there, me. There's definitely... <laughs> outside of Breath of the Wild, there's no simple answer for me. That's why I'm like, I'm kind of like on the fence between like Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. For sure. See, Wind but... Waker, I never... I also feel like I'm not the best judge because I didn't... I haven't played every single Zelda game. Well, I haven't either. Like, a lot of the Toon Link games I have avoided just because they didn't really feel all of that. They just weren't my favorite. I don't know. Yeah. I played Phantom Hourglass. I watched you play Wind Waker, and that was cool. But it didn't intrigue me enough to be like, I want to play this. Yeah. You know? Yep. It was just like, this is cute. This is fun. Yeah, I don't know. I, I love it. Is everybody, what's everybody voting on? Well, I, I'm going by my opinion, so I'm not going by what Chad says. Oh, but you're not taking like a poll? No. Oh, okay. No, I'm just, I'm just going by my gut. And I'm also going like, so like these are tiers, but I'm also counting it like left to right. So like left is like strongest in that tier. So like right now I'm kind of on the fence between Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, but I'm going to give Wind Waker the slight edge. Above Twi Twilight Princess. That's Link's Awakening. Um, really? You put Link's Awakening more than Ocarina of Time? Well, I haven't put Ocarina of Time up there yet. I'm not done. Um, I think... Link's Awakening was fun to watch you play, and I really did enjoy that one. I really liked Link Between Worlds, but that was so easy that it almost... Like, I kind of forgot a lot of what happened. It was a... I just remember... Wait, which game again? Link Between Worlds. Oh, yeah. That was really fun to play. I remember enjoying it, but I can't really remember the story. Don't know the pivotal parts of it. I just remember being like, this was fun, and you can obviously go onto the wall and be a 2D character and then go through cracks and go to the other world, you know? Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. That was fascinating. So you haven't put Ocarina of Time. No, I'm kind of at What's war with B? myself. What's B? Link to the past. Not... Okay. I'm kind of at war with myself right now. I, I definitely... I would say Ocarina of Time above Link to the Past. I'm actually... Like, okay. Ocarina of Time is without a doubt the best story of any Zelda game ever. Yep. Some people are going to argue with me on that. They're going to say Majora's Mask. That's fine. I think that's fair. It's a perfect sequel. But but I I I think that Ocarina of Time is the the best story in the entire franchise. But is it my favorite? Like, is it the most fun to play? Uh, it's not as fun as it may have once been, honestly. Um. Oh, are you all right? I gotta go make food. All right. Okay. About an hour long. Oh, fun. Do you need any help? Yeah, I know, but I I could still like put things on pause if I if you need me to. Okay, all right. Um, do you think Ocarina of Time is better than Wind Waker? No. N y okay, hold on. Ooh, ooh, I'm walking into some hot waters here. Uh, I think Ocarina of Time is for sure a better story than Wind Waker. I love Wind Waker's story. I love Wind Waker's characters. But I think Ocarina of Time is still strong. I, I think it is, without a doubt, the best story. I, I don't think... I, I, I won't argue that with myself, for sure. Um, as a game, though, I would rather play Wind Waker. Like, for sure. I would definitely rather play Wind Waker. Now, versus Link to the Past, I think I still would rather play Ocarina of Time by a slight margin. But, especially if it's Link's Awakening HD, which is more accessible for me personally, I think I might rather play Link's Awakening HD than Ocarina of Time. So I think I'm going to say Ocarina of Time is high B tier. I think it's high B tier. That might be blasphemy for some, but that's what... This one, I think even more than the video game consoles one, this one is definitely looking for a fight. 
Are we considering the, the remake? Oh, the 3DS? Yeah, yeah, we are. A and yeah, yes, we are. Um, okay, unfortunately, guys, I'm sorry. I gotta put or Oracle in haven't played because I haven't played it. So, uh, yeah. Um, okay, Phantom Hourglass, haven't played. Hey, babe! Did you play Phantom Hourglass? How do you feel about it? She liked it. Okay. Peace out, Joshua. Thanks for coming by. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna keep it and have it played. She said she liked it. It wasn't significant, but she liked it. Um, Skyward Sword D tier. Spear Tracks also and haven't played. She played Spear Tracks as well. Uh, Adventure of Link. I mean. Skyward Sword's always the butt of the joke. Skyward Sword's always the butt of the joke. But Zelda 2 isn't exactly a fun game that I'm just gonna go and play. If, if we're being truthful, I think it's... I Yeah, I, I'd rather play Skyward Sword. But I don't want to play either, and that's why they're in D. Because I don't want to play either. Legend of Zelda, the NES game. Um, this game's daunting, but I'm fascinated by it. And I love everything about it, even if I don't love playing it. I'm going to put it in C tier. And I think I'm going to put it Oh boy. Nah, I'd put it behind. I think I'd still... I'd be able to get further into Majora's Mask. Then, then... I'm just not good enough at the game to be able to get very far into Zelda NES. Triforce Heroes haven't touched. I, people I don't think are a huge fan of it, but I have to put in haven't played. Minish Cap I also haven't played, but I've heard it's very good. So, clearly there's quite a few Zelda games that I need to play, and as you can see, I'm pretty sure all of them are the handhelds. The only handhelds that you can see in my list that I've played is Link Between Worlds and Link's Awakening. And Link's Awakening I played on the Switch, which I'm not even sure we count. I guess Triforce Heroes was Wii U, wasn't it? Or was it 3DS? I don't remember. Anyway, yeah, as you can see, all the Zelda games I haven't played are the handheld ones. So, okay, it's 3DS. Yeah, see? Exactly. Power user, what the frick are you doing? Um, well, there you go. <laughs> There's my list, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Dang. So there's 19 games and I still haven't played seven of them. Seven of the 19 I still haven't played. I gotta get on that. I gotta get on that, man. Making puns? I, I'm not quite, how, how are, how is that a pun? I've heard Minish Cap is good. All right, I'm gonna save. Oh, I have to download, oh, I have to log in. Oh, no, 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 no. I can download the image. There we go. Cool. Boom. Beautiful. All right, what's next? What do we say after this? Final Fantasy? No, no, no. Let's do Sonic. Should we do Sonic? Oh, all right, all right, all right. Sonic or, Sonic or Final Fantasy? Find the freedom, but the word is freedom is replaced with a rhyming word. 
man, you're failing on all accounts here. So first you say pun. It's not a pun. And then second you say rhyming. Frito does not rhyme with freedom. Meatloaf does not rhyme with freedom. And Dorito does not rhyme with freedom. So I don't think you're doing very good here right now. Don't care for either series. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, it hurts. The double dash tracks. I th we're getting more specific as we go. All right, peace out, Franco. Have a good night. What would be faster to do, Double Dash, Final Fantasy, or Sonic? Probably Final Fantasy or Sonic, because my guess is that I'm going to have to custom make the Double Dash one. Because I highly doubt they have a template for that already, but they almost definitely have one for Final Fantasy or Sonic. Let's go with Sonic. Sonic games, all of them. Is there like Sonic 06 characters? Okay, they have some pretty specific ones here. I, I now I'm starting to wonder if Double Dash. They have Sonic Adventure one and two levels. All right, I like that. We should do that one. Should we do Sonic games, all of them, or mainline platforming Sonic games? Aren't we going to do Final Fantasy? Oh, have you been in the chat for the past three seconds while we've been talking about whether to do Final Fantasy or Sonic? All of them, all mainline. Oh boy, it's split down the middle. Alright, somebody somebody be the tiebreaker. Alright, main, main, mainline. Mainline. Here we go. We're going to do mainline. So, okay, we'll do that after. Uh, or later. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll get to it eventually. Okay, here we go. Uh, also multiple versions. Direct ports like Sonic Heroes, PS2, and GameCube are not separate, separate but very different games with the same name like Sonic Unleashed Wii and 360 R. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, fair, 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 fair. Okay. I like how the first one in the list is Knuckles Chaotix. I, okay, already I'm going to add a tier. Already I'm going to add a tier. Um, Alright. Sonic 06. Y y here, you know what? I, I, I'm actually. I, I know I've been generalizing the the thing, making a tier list of the Sonic games. Come yell at me. Come yell at me for being right. I'll just say come yell at me. Okay, so here's the thing with 06. Here's the here's the thing. 06 was a fail. All right, it was totally a fail. But but they tried, you know. And there's there's something there. We have this conversation a lot. There's something in 06 where you can see that they they tried. They had a lot of crazy ideas. None of them landed. But there's still that element of, like, there was something there. You know what I mean?
so for that reason alone you know what this is what we're gonna do we're not gonna go in the order of how they're sitting here we're gonna we're gonna work our way down we're gonna work our way down because that way i know if i need to add tiers so we're gonna work our way down here's the deal you guys you guys know how i am i'm sorry sonic adventure 2 is top of the list they don't have battle right they didn't separate those i don't think yeah i don't think they did i'm sorry y'all know me can you play your fade not to be tame remix uh yeah sure um song adventure one good thinking of picking it up if you ask me i will tell you yes absolutely is it flawed yeah but i i think the game gets well i think both adventure games get a lot more crap than they've ever deserved i, I think they're actually fantastic games and adventure 2 is one of my favorite games of all time um so if you ask me i'm gonna tell you yes absolutely i would pick it up honestly you just if you have a competent P pc and you just get like a, a decent like xbox controller or something you can get it on your pc and then you can download mods to get it to like the dreamcastify mods or whatever so you get best of both worlds so it runs really smoothly but it also has all the elements that made the original dreamcast version so great that they kind of harmed in uh in the the ports the dx port I think I made Final Fantasy VII impossible for myself right as I was about to fight Big Bomber. Somehow brought down Barrett's HP to 30, Tifa's to 90, used all of Cloud. Is Big Bomber that first, uh... Big Bomber, is that the first boss in the game? Uh, okay, I'm gonna put Sonic Adventure A tier. I, I definitely prefer Sonic Adventure 2, but I love both games so much. Is Big Bomber the first boss? Can I get an answer on that? Uh, because I actually remember screwing myself over the first time I played uh, Final Fantasy uh, 7, and I had to start over. Uh, but I learned, but I figured out, oh, that's how the game works. And so I had to kind of work with that. It's the second mission. Ooh. You might, if you're, if you're playing on a port, you might be able to cheat your way out of it. I, I usually wouldn't advise doing that, but I think you might be able to. Williamson Medical. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, dude, literally. Okay, so here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing, guys. I, gr I was born here at the Williamson Medical Center. I was born, it's, this is one of those, you know, ads that they're, I was born at the Williamson Medical Center because I was born in Williamson County in Tennessee. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, I've, I've kind of just, when I was really young, I, I thought that every child was born at a hospital that their last name was like, like they would go to a hospital based on their last name oh i gotta go to the williamson hospital because my last name's williamson like that's how i thought it worked because i was born at the williamson medical center so yeah it's funny yeah but i i i, I grew up in williamson county middle tennessee so uh okay we're gonna work our way down here uh like i said i was gonna do uh where's sonic one well, where's Sonic 3 and Knuckles? Here's Sonic and Knuckles. Is there Sonic 3 and Knuckles? Here's Sonic 3. Here's Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Boom. Okay, Sonic 3 and Knuckles is going high A tier. It is my second favorite Sonic game behind Adventure 2, and then probably Sonic Adventure. Is that right? Or do I like Adventure a little more than 3 and Knuckles? Honestly, I might like Adventure a little more than Three Knuckles, uh, based on personal preference. I think Three Knuckles is for sure the better game from an objective standpoint. But you know, I, honestly, I, I think I might put Sonic Adventure ab ab above Three Knuckles just by a little bit.
Um, all right, Sonic 2. I'm definitely, I'm gonna put Sonic, Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles are in B. I, I think they're solid games, but they are far better together. So I'm gonna put them in B. Um, so where's Sonic 2? Here's Sonic 2. I think Sonic 2 is low A. But it's got Metropolis zone. And I'm not a big fan of Oil Ocean either. And Sky Fortress is not. I'm going B. I'm going B. It's B. It's B tier, sorry. Sorry. I gotta go B tier on it. Um Sonic 1! I would also put in B tier. I would put it low B tier. I think in some ways I almost like it more than two. I don't really know why, but I still generally have more fun and can get further into two than one. So I'm gonna put two above it. Um, yeah, a lot of people, yeah, Rabidash would say, a lot of people don't like Sonic 1 Beyond Green Hill. I think that's perfectly fair. Honestly, I like Marble Zone. I like Spring Yard. I hate Labyrinth. Starlight's fun. I don't like Scrap, Scrap Brain. So, I guess there, there's your answer on that. I, you know, so I like what? Four out of the six stages? I'm cool with four out of, out of six of them? I don't know. I think that's, I think that's all right. Um. Okay. Oh, that's Game Gear. Yeah, Game, Game Gear. Uh, you know what? Honestly, I think these fall under this as well. Nobody cares. Sorry. Um, okay, I'm also going to need to add this, add row below. Oh yeah, that works. That's not what I meant to do though. We'll, we'll say, we'll, we'll do this and then we're going to say, have them delayed. And Sonic Advance, the Sonic Advance series, like I said, I've never really been in handheld realm so i really can't say i play these sonic blast that's in nobody cares um marvel zone represents everything you shouldn't do in a sonic level i get what they were going for and somehow it's charming to me to to the degree that i actually do kind of like it but yeah no i i mean i i i i think it's a fine stage i i understand why people don't like it though um Generally speaking, that's the kind of stage I wouldn't like, so I get it. Um, okay, now we're starting to get into territory where it's a little bit harder for me. Sonic CD is... I never understood the hype with Sonic CD. I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna hold off. Sonic Chaos, nobody cares. If it's Game Gear, nobody cares. Let's, let's just, let's just get to the gist of it, sorry. Very few people care. Um, power user, we just had an entire covered. Where have you been for the past five minutes? Um, um, okay. Sonic 3D Blast, not good. Probably D tier, not very fun. But the music in both versions is awesome. Um, both episodes of Sonic 4, D tier. They might even be in Nobody Cares. I think they might fall under Nobody Cares. has got yeah that's the wii version that's the 3ds version oh i'll be adding a tier for the lowest of the low uh, we just haven't gotten there yet honestly sonic colors is c tier 
Sonic Forces, I didn't even play it. I, I People didn't like it, apparently, but I, I didn't even play it, so I can't even say. Sonic Generations is B. Sonic Generations is B. Um, I assume this is the 3DS version. I, I'm just gonna go ahead and say haven't played for the handheld versions of these. Shadow the Hedgehog D tier. Yeah, I could see episode two being a little better. I thought it looked, it was a better looking game too. I'll at least put it above, I'll put it above Sonic 4 episode one. Sonic Heroes. I'm gonna have to say B tier, but above Generations. Uh, generations might, there might be a lot more people that say Generations is a better game, maybe. I don't know, but Heroes, I just, I, I it's a love-hate relationship with that game, man. There's something about it I love, and yet, I, every time I play it, I get mad, but then I just wanna play it again, you know? Um, Sonic and the Black Knight, D tier. Um, Sonic Forces. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in under. Haven't played because I haven't. I haven't played. I haven't even played Lost World, dude. I haven't bothered with quite a few Sonic games. Nobody cares about Sonic Pocket Adventure. Sonic Rush Adventure. I haven't played either. Dang. I've heard these are pretty good. I've heard Sonic Rush ain't ain't bad. <clears throat> Where's Sonic Boom? It's so bad that they forgot about it. I'm not sure it's a mainline game, actually. Um, okay, Sonic CD. Okay, hold on. Sonic Mania. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like Sonic 3 and then Sonic and Knuckles. I mean. Yeah. Like, why even counts? Oh man, dude. I don't even know. Part of me just thinks that we don't even... Sonic 3 Knuckles is the way to go, man. The games are fun on their own, but they're not... Yeah, I'm gonna put... On their own... Mania is definitely better. In fact, I would put Mania above Sonic 2. Yeah, I'd put it all the way up here, now that I think about it. And honestly? No, no, I'd still... I think I'd still play these games over Sonic 1 just slightly in fact I think I like Sonic and Knuckles a little more than Sonic 3 yeah and then I honestly I think I, I definitely like Sonic Heroes more than Sonic 1 I might ah uh, Sonic Generations is fun I feel like it, it's been so long since I've played it it's hard for me to say on that one should really play Sonic Advance games. Yeah, I should probably. There's a lot. This just shows how many handheld games I've never played. Um. All right, Sonic Unleashed. I can't. I. This has got to be the Wii version. Um. Here's the reality, guys. I never even played the Xbox version. So, I, there's a lot of arguments, like, like a lot of debate with people about, like, Sonic Unleashed versus Sonic Unleashed. And it's tough. To you know, like, like, there's actually been a lot of people that are like, no, actually the Wii version's better. It just makes me think, like, oh, I can't even... So I'm I'm gonna have to just put this under haven't played. I feel like I haven't had enough experience to be able to say. But Sonic Unleashed?
Man, I've got so much of B tier. I feel like there's so much stuff that I'm having a hard time. Um... But I would still, I, I think this, this, yeah. I'm, we're gonna, we're gonna go with that. But this is what we're gonna, yeah, here we go. Um, all right, so back to this, Sonic 06. Well, no, before, no, not yet, not yet. Unleashed, yeah, I've heard some people call it that recently, and so I've kind of affectionately taken it on. I, I like it. I like Unleashed. Um, Sonic CD. I, I didn't, I don't love this game. I don't, I don't love this game, dude. It's going in D tier. Going in D tier, bro. Sorry. Um, never played a Sonic game. Bro, you need to fix that. Get yourself Sonic 3 Knuckles or one of the Sonic Adventure games. Get her done. Do it, seriously. Mania is here, dude. Right here. Ta-da. Um. Uh, okay. Sonic 06. This is what I'm, this is what I'm gonna say. This is what I'm gonna say. I think this is the best way to sum, summarize this. What am I hearing? Oh, I'm an idiot. I, I was hearing my clock. It sounded like a hi-hat. I was hearing my watch. I was like, what on earth? Um. I, I think that's the best way to sum it up. I think that's the best way to sum it up. Um. But then... Did they though? Oh yeah, they did. Oh yeah, they did. You can see the passion of trying to make something happen behind the scenes, but the executive saying, no, you've got to have it out tomorrow, you're screwed. Sonic 06 tried. It had so many great ideas and didn't land on any of them, but at least it tried. And I have to give it that. It is the most enjoyable bad game in the franchise. Secret Rings? It is absolute big farkin' garbage. It sucks so much, but I can't even tell you. Anyway. Anyway. Secret Ring sucks. It is it is without a doubt my least favorite Sonic game I've ever played. It is without a doubt my least favorite Sonic game I've ever played. Um, so there you go. my head it was <laughs> um anyway there you go sonic adventure 2 definitely top yeah am i a little crazy am i a little crazy to put sonic 06 above sonic cd yeah i am 
but I think I find more enjoyment and would rather talk more about and hear and have more discussion and see more things and just overall experience Sonic 06 and Sonic CD. I just don't understand the hype with CD. I really just don't get it. Can't believe you're still going what I miss. Oh no, you're good. Um, well, here you go. This is what you missed. We did, we did Sonic. We did the Sonic games. To just made two teams games and <laughs> secret rings. Fair enough. Fair enough. There you go. So there's your Sonic tier list. So now, are we doing Final Fantasy now? Are we doing Final Fantasy now? Guys, the problem with Double Dash is that's going to take me more time. Alright, we're going to do Final Fantasy. If I, if I still have time, then we'll do the Double Dash tracks. And it's, it's honestly possible that it exists. In fact, let's look right now. Ha! Huh? No! There it is! Wow! Oh, please load, though. Is that all of them? Fifteen, sixteen. That's all of them. Wow, it's so specific. That's awesome. All right, let's do this. Let's do this one then. Well, I gotta change the title of the stream again. Ranking Mario Kart. Double dash tracks. All right, there we go. All right. Okay. S tier. I know for a fact that Mushroom City is my favorite one. Uh, Mushroom Bridge is up there for me. I'm going to put that one in A. Baby Park. That's A. That's A. Bowser's Castle. I gotta put a B. I really love it, but I gotta put a B. Here's the tough thing with this. I could really put almost all of them on A. They're all so great. They're all so fantastic. But we'll, we'll get we'll get hypercritical here. Um, Daisy Cruiser, I'm gonna say C. Um, it is fun. Um, and I really enjoy it, but it's not, it's not my favorite. Yeah, I, there's no better way to put it. My least favorite stage in the game is definitely Dino Dino Jungle. I just, it's not, I, I don't love it. Man, I'm really itching to play Double Dash now. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna put that one D. Uh, DK Jungle, I'm gonna say B. It is a lot of fun to play casually, uh, but speedrunning, it is a nightmare. It's uh, like most, most people will joke that this one can easily be the run killer. Um, dry Dry Desert, I really enjoy. But it's all, I'm gonna say high C. I'm gonna say high C. Uh, Luigi Circuit, eh, kind of boring. Kind of boring. It's, it's, it's okay. It's, you know what, we're gonna add, a, we're gonna add one. Add row below. And I'm gonna say C minus. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, and I just clicked on a freaking ad. Uh, it's fine as a. It's a fine stage, but it's not the most interesting. So, what's up, uh, Vikran? 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 Hope I'm saying your name right. Thanks for uh, thanks for dropping by. Um. Mario Circuit, it's a bit more interesting. I, I think that one falls under, like, low C. Uh, Peach Beach, I, I, I would say that's B tier. I really like Peach Beach. 
Uh, but I don't think I like it quite as much. In fact, I'm gonna say DK Jungle over Bowser's Castle by a little bit. So, yeah, I think that's fair. Rainbow Road is definitely a... Uh, I enjoy it more than Baby Park. Baby Park's fun, but I, I do enjoy Rainbow Road a little bit more. So I'm gonna put it there. Sherbet Land. This is up there. This is one of my top favorites. I, I'm gonna have to say right here. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's there. Uh, Waluigi. Uh, this one is okay. It's, it's fun. I don't know. It's fun. Uh, I, I'm gonna put it here. It, it can be annoying playing that stage sometimes. I'm gonna put it there. Waluigi Coliseum I'm not the biggest fan of. It's probably one of my... I don't know. It's kind of whatever. I, I'm, I'm cool with it. It's fun. But it can kind of drive me crazy. So I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say C minus, and I'm gonna say under Luigi Circuit, Yoshi Circuit, Yoshi Circuit. That this is one of my favorites, I think. Yeah, in fact, here's here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say this is A tier. I'm gonna say Baby Park is high B tier, high B. I love the chaos of it. Here's the reality. All of these are really close for me. The only ones that are maybe a little bit more distance from the other ones are like, like Wario's Coliseum and Dino Dino Jungle. Those are, I'm a little bit less keen on. Just a little bit. The rest of these are so close for me, it's hard for me to decide. But yeah, boom. See, I know, I know the game so well though that I'm still able to say like, yeah, this is where I think I'd put these. So there you go. Hello, I'm going from stream to stream sharing fun facts. Would you like to hear one? Oh God. Um, yes, I'm open to it, but I, I, I better not be a troll. I've gotten so used to you, you, you trolls. <laughs> Since one time the citizens of London caused a blackout over the entire energy grid because too many of them turned on their electric kettles at the same time. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. That's, that's a pretty entertaining fun fact. I appreciate that Phantom Lord. Thank you. Thank you for that fun fact of the day. I did. Thank you for so much. Second time someone thought I was a troll. Listen, man, we're just prepared for the worst over here. I appreciate it, though. Thank you. That was a good... That was... I like that. I like that. Thank you for dropping by. You called DK Mountain DK Jungle? Oh, my bad. Yeah, I meant to call DK Mountain. Whatever. That was a good fact. Thank you. I hope you have a great night day whatever now to go share my facts elsewhere farewell farewell phantom lord appreciate appreciate dropping by with that fun factualness all right we we download this one as well all right all right now final fantasy this will probably be the last hey babe Honey, what's ETA? Yeah, what is the ETA? Oh, 10 minutes? I don't think we have enough time, guys. It's gonna be, it's gonna be done sooner than, dinner's gonna be done sooner than we thought. I mean, y'all, all right, all right, all right. Let's 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 see how quickly we can do this. We're, we're gonna have to wrap up so fast though. Here we go, here we go. Let's see if we can speed run this. I'm gonna have to make my decisions very, very fast. I assume it's just... <laughs> well, thanks for this template that has nothing. You guys are cool. Oh, Final Fantasy Waifu, that's good. That's good, that, that'd be great, that'd be solid. We, we obviously know who's at the top of that list. All right, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. 
All right. Hey, bait843, there's that notification. Didn't go off earlier. I think I counted it earlier. Thank you so much, bait. Truly appreciate that. Uh, okay. We're seven. Seven. S tier. Six. A that's not six. We're six. A tier. Top, top of the line A tier. Nine, I'm gonna say B for now. Seven is easily S tier. There's, there's no... I'm sorry, there's just no arguing it. I could see six being better than seven, but personally, in my experience so far, seven. Uh, eight. Good premise, good characters. Third act sucked. The ending sucked. So I'm gonna say C, uh, gameplay also sucked. It's like a five out of 10 for me, so. I don't, I don't know. I'm not, here, we're gonna do this again. We're gonna do this again. Add a row below. Haven't played. All right. Um, 11 goes in there. 15, I'm gonna say B. Uh, that game is very flawed, but there is a lot of, I, I always say it's missed potential, but honestly, I still really like it. I, I need to update the map. Well, do I need to? Do I really need to? We're, we're almost done anyway. Uh, five, I have not actually played. I've heard it's good. I've heard it's good. Nine, or no, that's not nine, that's four. AF, yeah, I don't have a clue. Uh, again, four, four is another one. Th these are games I would love to play, but I have not. Uh, 14 I have played. I would put it high C. I, I think most other people would put it higher than that. But I'm gonna say high C. It was good when I played it, but it's not exactly my kind of game. So personally, personally I'm gonna say C. High C for 14. One, haven't touched. Not a clue. 10 2. Uh,. Is it better than 10-1? Because I sure didn't like 10. 10 goes in D. Sorry if I'm about to start a fight. I haven't even played 10-2 because I couldn't get further than like six hours into 10-1 without being so annoyed. Why am I here? I've never played Final Fantasy or Sonic or Zelda. What the frick are you doing? So much life to live outside of these streams. Yeah, like going and playing those games. Especially with Sonic and Zelda. What the frick? What the frick? Fix that. Fix that. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna say 10 is in the same category as that one. Because I'm... S um, what tier list have I missed? Uh, we did a Zelda one. We did Sonic. And then we just did Mario Kart Double Dash tracks. And now we're doing uh, Final Fantasy very quickly because I actually have to wrap up very quickly here. 12, board me to tears, D. Um, two, haven't played. 12, I haven't played. I don't, is that like a DLC pack? What is this? Uh, three, haven't played. Yeah, there's quite a few I still need to play. Unless we count three as six, but I don't think we do. 13. Hi, D. Hi, D. Hi, D. Uh, 13, 2. Haven't played. 13, Lightnings. Haven't played. Look how many I haven't played. I gotta take care of this. This, this tier list actually sucked. Because... Because I, I clearly have not played quite a few that I need to. Which, that's what I've been doing. I've been on a venture... I've been a, I've been on on a on a um, mission. That's the word to play the Final Fantasy games. And so far, I've played obviously any that you see I have aren't in the haven't played. But clearly, there's still quite a few I haven't played. So, um, assuming I should play the OG one, but I don't know about the remake. You should play both, but I would play the the original first. 
And yeah, you can get like the the original on like anything now. It's like available on on everything. So um it's on Switch, it's on PS3, it's on PS4, it's on PC. And I think it is it on Xbox? It might even be on Xbox. I'm not sure. It's definitely on PS3 and PS4. It's on Switch, it's on PC. So, yeah. Anyway. Uh I don't is this one even worth downloading? I don't think it is yet. I think this is definitely something that would be I would love to have more conversation about with chat in in the future, but maybe maybe not at the moment. And there's definitely some other interesting tier lists that may maybe, maybe we'll return to this in a future stream. Oh yeah, like the freaking this. Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 levels tier list maker, dude. There's so much, there's so much here that we can do. So much. We're, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to return to this, for sure. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you, and, and I don't even, it's not even 20 bucks, so you still have cash left over from your eShop card. So, that was fun. Uh, yeah, I like the, kind of, the different doing something a little different today i like that maybe we'll, we'll return to this eventually still need to play a final fantasy game just tell everybody to play final fantasy 7 that, that that was a life changer for me man that is such a good game um just caught the end of the stream ah uh, well i will be back on friday um probably between 4 and 5 p.m central time somewhere around there just calculate that into your time zone uh but uh but yeah that's when i'll probably be back with multiplayer friday which means i'll probably be playing mario kart 8 and maybe some smash bros uh with um with the people with the uh with the subs and patrons so hopefully i will see you there for that uh but uh but yeah thank you everybody for tuning in being here uh but yeah Somewhere between 3 and 5 p.m., I'd say, Central Time. Uh, like I always say, follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the schedule. If there's any changes, if I start earlier or later, have to cancel any of that jazz. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, definitely follow me there. Uh, and uh, check out my YouTube, where I post my music stuff, if you're not already subscribed. Uh, and, um, yeah, be sure to hit that bell when you follow me on Twitch so you get notifications when I go live, whether that is iPhone or email notifications, or both. Um, but now, but now we raid. But now we raid. Who, who do we raid? Who do raid? Think I'm probably gonna raid, I'm not gonna raid Mango. Sorry, Mango. Sorry, Mango. You, you, you demand, but I ain't, I ain't raiding Mango right now. Um, probably gonna raid Bird 650, 650, doing a, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna raid him. He's doing a, uh, 120 star, uh, Super Mario 64 speed run at the moment. I think he's practicing at the moment, but it'll be doing runs later. If you've never seen a Super Mario 64 speed run. Now might be the time. Uh, they're pretty awesome. I, I love watching Super Mario 64 speed run, seriously. I truly do. Uh, but one way or another, if you got places to be, wanna go do something else after this, that's totally okay. Uh, if you do stick around for Birdman's uh, stream, or not Birdman, just Bird, Bird650, uh, if you stick around for his stream, uh, then I'm sure you would absolutely love that. Uh, but one way or another, at least help me out in giving him some love. It takes like 15 to 30 seconds, tops. Uh, just spam those emotes uh, if you're a sub. If you're not a sub, exclamation point sub for the purpose of benefits. I think I think you'll enjoy it. But uh, but if you are not um, able to sub at the moment, uh, then uh, just uh, put in you know I don't know G Willie Ray in all caps or hearts something like that. Uh, but uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Truly appreciate you guys. Uh, there should be a raid showing up at the top of your chat. Be sure to join that. Um, you guys seriously are awesome. Thank you so much for the support. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I will, I'll be back on Friday. Hope to see you guys then. Thank you for all the resubs, get to subs, new subs, all that jazz. You guys are awesome. Uh, and thanks for the bits and all that stuff. Anyway, 
Thank you guys so much. See you guys on Friday. You guys have a great night. Great Thursday. Peace.